Hello folks and welcome back to Oceanhorn. Our hermit is telling us some wonderful things through our magical seashell. So the world cannot heal ourselves from Trilus Toxic. So come back to the island. So we have to go back to the hermit's island. Because of course we need the Emblem of the Sun. Which is probably, if I had to guess, on it's this island, the Sky Island. So where was the hermit isle? There we go. Hermit isle. As we rotate around weirdly. That was strange. Okay, we also need to find the Coral Saber, which I'm pretty sure, kind of, sort of, I know where this is, so we'll see. Beat up all the bad guys, get rid of all the Flotsam and Jetsam. There is someone, I think it's Adidas, who is making a shoe made out of a bunch of the plastic that's floating in the ocean as a... Well, both as a way to get rid of it, and also as a way to raise awareness of it. Uh, it's not actually available yet, but they are in the process of designing it. Sounds like a cool idea, but being a name brand shoe, it's probably going to cost quite the pretty penny. So we already got... yeah, we already got all of these challenges done. So the Hermit's apparently just waiting for us. Is there anything else we need to do on this island? I suppose we can get one more of the fire crystal things. No, not that I know where that is. Don't bother the old man. I want that coin. I need to get to, like, 2,000 pieces somehow. Okay, by finding those two secret emblems, you have proven that you are a true knight of Arcadia. On your travels, you've probably seen an island floating in the sky. The last secret artifact, this emblem of the sun, is on that island. Well, okay, so I was right. Emblem of Sun is a symbol of Arcadians, and Sky Island used to be the heart of the Arcadian capital. But when the catastrophe hit, Triloth, the dark force of creation, lifted a vast, massive land up in the air, people and buildings along with it. How did they get supplies? They must all be dead by now. We need you, we need to get you there, up to the Sky Island. Because of that secret package you found at the Great Chronicle's Crave, we have a way to get you up to the Sky Island. I just need your help. First, need to get me a stool. Seriously? You want me to go furniture shopping for you? You want me to assemble it for you too? You can buy it from Ikea? They want you to get me a stool. Really? I mean, you're just sitting on the... Okay, sure, whatever. So, where are we gonna get him a stool from? I don't even know if that's a... Yeah, I need you to give me a stool. Not gonna tell you where or how or anything, but you know, just get it for me. Sure. I don't remember seeing that in a shop though. That would seem to be the most likely. Oh, here we go. Here's a stool over here. Now you can actually lift it up. Okay. I mean, I realize you're an old man. You can't lift your own furniture, but come on. Really? You're gonna get the here the Knight of Arcadia to do this for you? And of course, I'm gonna. Need to throw it at this guy, bonk him on the head. Oh, it destroyed the stool. Oh. I thought it was going to remain intact. I thought it was sturdy furniture. It is totally not sturdy furniture at all. Did it respawn? Tell me the stool respawned. It did not. Okay, if we go inside and then back out again, that should reload it. Maybe, possibly. Hey, there's a chest over here. What's in the chest? We actually not look at this before? It's a heart piece. Okay. We got a new heart container. That's cool. There are no stools here. Okay. Well, then it's a good thing we came in here then. I don't know why we didn't do that before. And there's a stool. Great. Pick it up. Do not throw it at anybody. I suppose that's just a good rule in general. Don't throw furniture at anybody unless you really mean it. And you don't mind the furniture getting destroyed. And the bad guys haven't respawned. That's kind of weird. Okay. Here's your stool, old man. What do you want? Get me a travel bed. Don't ask questions, just get me one. A travel bed. Okay, I'm assuming all the stuff is just found on the island. So I think there was a travel bed over by the tent. Maybe it wasn't by the tent. I'd, we'll go over here just to see. I don't know, it's been a little while since we've been back to this island. I have no idea where these things are. Oh yeah, that's totally a travel bed right there. I'll take that, thank you. And again, don't throw it at anybody. And of course he walks really slow whenever he's carrying anything. 
That's fine. So what else is he going to ask for? Like, popcorn, s'mores, box of matches, firewood? Firewood he might actually ask for. There's lots of firewood lying around. I can kind of see that being a thing. Uh, maybe a barrel, just because, you know, you need to store some beef jerky or something in it. Okay, set it down. Thank you. Then hit these guys. I said these guys. Where's the little beetle guy? He hasn't responded yet. Pick up the coin, because every little bit helps. Oh, and we have a master key for this island, somehow. Okay. Give me a burning fireball. What for? You'll see. Sure, I'll just go around the whole island and basically bring you everything on it. Um, burning fireball. Burning fireball. There's lanterns. Where's their burning fireball, though? It's got to be over on the east of the island, maybe? I don't actually remember where there's a burning fireball. There's got to be one around here somewhere, though. I remember throwing one recently. Uh, not recently, necessarily. What are you going to drop? What are you going to drop? A coin. Okay, that's good. Burning fireball. I don't know. I don't want it to be too far away, because I'm going to carry it all the way back. Um, maybe there's one inside this cave? This is a necklace cave, I think. Oh, yeah. Right here. Um, I don't know if it's actually a bowl, but it's a sconce anyway. So let's go ahead and take this to him and see if he accepts it. I think he just basically wants an open flame. Hopefully that's all he wants. If he actually needs, like, a bowl shape, I don't know where to get that. Maybe... Maybe, like, down the well? I'm not sure that would work. I don't remember there being any bowls. I could have sworn they were all sconces like this one. I think this counts as a fireball, to my mind. I mean, really, it seems extremely dangerous to be carting around this sconce when it's lit. It seems like for safety reasons, you should make sure it's not lit. And then use a flint to use it later. Okay, he's setting up a house for some reason. We need one more thing. The object that I'm building cannot be completed without a weather cuckoo. Can you find me one? You know, a little cuckoo-shaped metal piece that shows you the wind direction. Go and bring me one of those. Where would I find one of those? Maybe on top of the house? I don't know. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I need to go to Tickerel. No, it's not on top of this house. Yeah, it's got to be in Tickerel. Because, okay, you know what? Let's check out our home tent first. Maybe we've had one there the whole time. I just haven't noticed. I think the only place I've seen one, though, is in Tickerel. Send me all over the damn place, old man. You're lucky I like you. Actually, I barely even know you. The only thing that stopped me from slashing you with my sword is the fact that it would be ineffective. Okay, yeah, we go to Tickerel. That seems like... That's the most likely place, and we're going to have to steal it. Or maybe we can ask the... What's her name? Lita? Whatever the heck the name of this guy's girlfriend is. Alright, so I'll be back with your silly little thing. Um, oh, I can totally jump this as soon as I equip the boots. I don't know why I'd want to, but these fire stones have got to be worth something. Maybe. Possibly. Jump back. There we go. Okay, so go around to the boat. And assuming I don't see it anywhere else. Yeah, unless it's inside the pile of junk somewhere. So, okay, let's go to the world map. Go to Tickerel. Uh, that's Bomb Island. Guild folks drop. Great forest. Where the heck is Tickerel? Sandbar. There we go. Tickerel. Okay. So... My, that seems to be my best guess for where we're going to find... Um, I mean, basically it's a wind chime. I never totally understood what the purpose of this was, but I'm not a farmer. I realize for some things it's really important to know where the wind's coming from. But, I don't know, they always seemed gimmicky to me. Um, is this Tickerel? It seems really dark and spooky. Something happened to it? 
This does not look good. Yeah, I think they were attacked. Who like is this guy? Last time. Oh, this is the father. I thought he died. Boy, find a safe path and guide him towards the answers. At least he tried to tackle Oceanhorn. That's usually a recipe for death. Gave him the chance to escape this burden. He's totally not playing that flute correctly. I'm losing my strength. Or is this just a hallucination? I'm far away, lost with this monster, and I don't know how much longer I can retain it. Oh, is he holding off? Ocean horn with the music. Power of music. My last breath, I will wait for the moment to be reunited with So he's just stalling for time? That'd be pretty funny. No matter what lies ahead. Yeah, sorry I've been gone for like five years, son, but um your side. I needed to sue the savage beast with music. So NATO. Trito. Okay. Um yeah, so apparently that just happened in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Where the heck was Tither Stick Girl there? Okay. Oh, so now it's nighttime. Well. That's. So everything else happened in the course of a day? Okay, I can kind of believe that. It's only been. What? We've only been playing this game for like six hours? Something like that. Let's pop everything. No, it's been more like. I don't know, it might be six hours. It might be six hours. Okay, so there's a windmill up there. But I don't see the metal cuckoo. Oh no, there it is. There's the weather vane right there. How do we get up there though? It's gotta be a way. Um hmm. So yeah, that's the thing I want right there. Can we use like the trench boots to get on top? No. Yeah, that's not helpful to me. Let's see. There's got to be a way to get though. Maybe we just buy one from the shop. You're the shop guy, keeper, right? Yeah, you are. Um, nope, can't get it from the shop. Okay. Well then, I guess we just steal it. So maybe we shoot it down. Maybe that's what we do. We have uh, arrows. We can do that with. Not. The fishing lure, not the bombs. Don't want to bomb the house. Um, might not be the best. Oh, there's a spare one. He had a spare one in the back. That's hilarious. <laughs> Why do you have two weather vanes on your house, dude? Well, I'm taking one. Hope you don't recognize it as I walk away with it. Um, yeah, alright. Sure, we'll just take it. That was easy. I'm glad it was here on Tickerel. I don't know why the old man wants it, but sure. I'll take it back to him. Um, wherever the hell the, the South One Isle. Hermit's Island. There we go. Okay. See, I think we just got like a psychic message from father. That was weird. Been no indication he could do that before, but alright. Arrows are good. Kill all the guys. I'm hoping to get tons more money, but money has been kind of scarce. Somehow we need to be able to get 2,000 coins because we're going to need to buy those heart pieces. I guess... Well, I was going to say I guess we could fish for them, but I don't know if you can sell fish in this game. If you can, that'd be a great way to earn money. Well, not a great way, but a way. I suppose we'd also just beat up a lot of bad guys. That would get us money. Just wait for them to respawn. Yeah, just keep pulling that above your head. Alright. Well, I hope this is the last thing he wants. Though I still think he's going to want, like, firewood or something. Okay, don't throw it. <laughs> just drop it. There. Uh, the weather vane would theoretically be sturdier than the stool, but just in case. So, okay, here's your weather vane. Like I said, you managed to get her all the supplies we need. Now drag your boat over here. Yes, you heard me. You're ready to go. Okay, so that's going to be done in a cutscene. That's good. So... Is that magically being covered? No? No, we're actually going to fly there in a zeppelin. Okay. 
That seems really dangerous. I'm not entirely sure why you need the weather, I mean. But alright. That's neat. Now we can totally fly everywhere we want. Don't worry about the flotsam and jessam and sea. It doesn't look terribly stable, but as long as you're still, I guess, sure. Oh, neat. You can see the curvature of the Earth. Nicely done. Um, I actually don't want to go to Sky Island yet. Don't I want to go to the... get the Coral Saber? So you're going to take me here regardless. So there can't possibly be... Oh, yeah. See? Not entirely stable. What did I tell you? We're going to crash. We're totally going to crash. Oh, man. I needed that boat. When I was a lad, I met a girl who said she had fallen from the sky. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Princess of the sky. Said she had lost her memory. Whenever she looked at that island in the sky, I could see a longing in her eyes. Did she really come from the sky? Oh, so she came from Sky Island. Well, that's nice to know, I guess. Oh, funny. Telescope pointed down, which kind of makes sense for an island in the sky. And someone's book. I cannot do anything with either of these items. Okay. Um, now we just go down and go around, I guess. So I totally needed that boat because I needed to get back to Sandbar so I could jump around. So I don't know why you destroyed my boat. It's my only boat. Hopefully they'll give me a replacement because I'm going to need to get the hell off this place. Unless Sky Island... No, it doesn't, wouldn't make sense for Sky Island to be where you fight Ocean Horn, right? There's lots of telescopes pointed everywhere. And a generator of some kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I can go around the sky because I move fast enough. Nanny, 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 I move faster you do. Okay. Um, what's the sign say? The sign says Grand Core. Whatever the heck that means. How do I get to that chest? Um, can I jump to it? Jump to it from where, though? Yeah, I don't have a good place to jump to it from. Oh, I see. Okay, I can go around. Gotcha. Um, yeah, go up here. Um, then I should be able to jump this, maybe? Oops, that was actually my dash, because I hit the A button, not the B button. Let's try that again. So go up here and jump. Totally worked. What do we got in here? Key, maybe? Three arrows. Seriously? Seriously. Okay, don't fall down. I don't think we can fall down, but okay, we don't want to go that way. Um, there is a thing we can use our arrows on. So, let's see what that does for us. Okay. That lowered an obstacle on our path. Okay. So we'll come over here and avoid the laser again. Just barely, but, you know, it worked. And we have a bird chasing us now. And a big iron golem man. That doesn't look safe. Um... What you want to do, sir, is you want to be blown up by my bombs. Excuse me, little bird man. Excuse me. I'm busy here. I said you want to be blown up by my bombs. Oh, well, it blew up the bird, too. That's something. Um, here, have another bomb. And another one. Use up all my bombs killing this guy. Yeah, he took five bombs to the face. Well, okay. We defeated every kind of monster in the game. That's something. Another generator, and that leads to nothing. What the hell is he guarding? So he's purely an optional boss then. Okay, no wait. I'm supposed to, probably supposed to push this somewhere. One of these blocks does not look like the others. Which would those be? I can push this guy. Oh no, I can't. Nope. Not actually possible. Okay, never mind then. So yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? No idea. 
Yeah, I have no idea why they unlocked that for me. That's strange. Um, we'll go back this way, up to the stairs, and I guess we go across this. Okay, we got a checkpoint. That's at least an indicator we're heading in the right direction. And another one of those guys. I'm not throwing five bombs away again. Oh, don't hit me, though. Okay, we'll just jump down. I just want to explore a little bit and see where we're going. Um, there's a key here. Storm shelter. That's good to know. I probably throw barrels in his face or something. I could really use hearts. Not bad guys. Well, I mean, bad guys can drop hearts. These guys are just going to drop bombs, though. Yeah. Huh. The bird likes chasing me around, and I can't get into the storm shelter yet. Oh, heart. Heart. I need that. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's just go in. Yeah, dodged out of the way of that. And let's just leave. We don't need to beat up that guy. Oh, hello. Um, I think you are misinformed that you think you'll be able to hit me because it takes far less endurance for me to use my shield now. Do I just jump down? That doesn't seem right. Uh, maybe jump across? I don't know if I can actually make that jump, though. Most of the jumps have been one square. That's clearly two. I mean, I could jump down, maybe. Yeah, he'll just roll. That's not terribly helpful. Um, no. I can't go up, either. So this is clearly an exit. Can I lift this? No. Okay. And I don't have any keys, so I can't go through the other way. Okay, I must be missing something obvious. What am I missing? Oh, maybe the... No, if the big guy had a key on him, I would see it over his head. So he doesn't have a key on him. What's over here? Oh, hey. Fire gem. Let's go ahead and knock it out of the wall before the guy catches up to us. I said before the guy catches up to us. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's going to go back into the wall now. And I could use five bombs on this guy, but it seems like a terrible waste. There's got to be a better way to do it. Um, how about magic? We can use ice. Should we use ice magic on this guy? Let's see what it does. It basically froze him in place. Well, I hit him from behind. Yeah, there we go. That just killed him instantly. Good to know. All right, so now I'm not too scared of those guys. Freeze them up. Go around, bash them from behind in their weak spot, and Bob's your uncle. All right, just don't fall. Why am I here? Why on earth would I be here? There's nothing here for me, unless that explodes. But why would it explode? I don't know. Okay, so that apparently goes further on. Let's go ahead and explore that way north a little bit. More birds. Just come down over here so I can beat you up. I'll do it. I'll beat you up. There. Now you're beat up. Can you give me a heart? No, oh, bombs. Okay. Lots of stuff around, but no way to get inside, really, as far as I can tell. Oh, wait. There we go. There's a gate. And a trunk. Oh, hey. Hey, live person. I totally wasn't expecting anybody living to be here. Who <laughs> are you? That's totally fair. You've lived all your life alone, and then suddenly this little kid wanders around, someone you've never seen before, which you know is impossible. Oh, hey, somebody else alive. How you doing? If you come here from the land beneath, you should see Grandmaster Ludwig. He's in the Grandmaster study. Okay. Um, none of these houses are labeled, though, so I'm just going to assume it's here. That might be him. No, that's Scholar 3. Grand Corps was a mighty power source of ancient Arcadia. It used to be interconnected to all islands under the Arcadian regime. Communication, machines, everything worked through the Grand Corps. Because of Grand Corps, we have access to old archives and we can even use some of its computing power. So it's the internet. It's totally the internet. Too bad no one can understand the code. Well, yeah, that happens sometimes. You don't document properly. This is why technical writers are needed. Just saying. Alright, so Grandmaster might be in here in the fanciest house. Sure. 
Um, yep, here we go to the cutscene. That's totally the Grandmaster. So I lived to see the day. Live to see the day. The daring youngster with a flying machine. That's on the daring young man, the flying trapeze, but okay. Welcome to Sky Island. Thank you. I like being here. Well, except for the fact that my boat was destroyed. You know how to fix that? Of Arcadians. Trilon, the dark energy of creation, lifted this mass of land and separated us from the surface a thousand years ago. Yeah, I already knew that. I've, I've been totally briefed on history. I know how this works. Emblem of sun. That reminds me of the old days. The old days, as in before your island was thrust into the sky. Tradition. Every year, a young maiden was chosen to represent Sol, goddess of light. She was given the emblem of sun, and she would give joy to our people. Oh, the emblem of sun was a necklace. Twenty oh. years ago, we faced a horrible tragedy. A scholar studying the Arcadian Code went mad. He said he had listened to a ghost in the machine that had promised to bring Sky Island back to the ground. All he needed was the Emblem of Sun. In so the necklace sphere, has been the Emblem of Sun the whole time? So how exactly did he... Seriously? So did she jump, or did he throw her? Because that's a little unclear. And how did she survive that? Because she's just going to splash into the ocean. Is he going to see it? Apparently not. Nobody knows what happened to her. The emblem of sun was lost ever since. Well, actually, I have this necklace. With our airship broken, there's no way to go back to the ground now. But the necklace, but don't dude. Worry. You'll get used to living here after a while. I don't know. We should be able to cobble together the same things the hermit did and make another zeppelin, it seems. Well, I guess we need... I don't know. You could use a crate. Okay, so let's light the fires here. Because that seems like what we're supposed to do. So set this on fire, please. And set this on fire, please. Um, that did not release the chest like I expected it to. What's this over here, though? Uses a forbidden magic. This is a book about Mesmeroth and his forbidden magic. It seems he wasn't a very likable person. <laughs> okay. Um, I could go up. But the chest, the chest should appear, like, right here. So why doesn't it? Hello. I try to get down the land without success. The only way to do that is to shut down the Terramite engine in the island core called Grand Core. Unfortunately, the entrance to the island core is shut. If only we had bombs. Well, I have bombs. Caverns on our island reach far and deep. We'd plant a bomb by the cables under the island core entrance. Yes, yes, it could work. I have bombs. We can totally do that. Point me in the direction. In Aru, wielding a red sword, confronted the living fortress Seelork on Riptide Reef. The battle lasted for hours, and our people gathered to follow it with their telescopes. Seelork rushed into the final attack, spitting laser and grenades from its guts, but the wounded Aru still had courage in him. He dodged the attack and lunged his red sword in Seelork's head. And then what happened to the sword, dude? What happened to the sword? It's the most critical piece of information, you just left it out. As a book about Archimedes, it tells many engaging stories about the discovery of Terramite and the creation of leveling fortresses. I mean, that's good, I guess? Grand Core was controlled with the sacred emblems. We might not be able to turn it off, even if we got inside. We have to have faith, but this is hard for a scientist. No, not really. I mean, you know, you just gotta believe. Okay, so they were unhelpful. I mean, we got an achievement. That's something. Oh, we leveled up. What do we got? You are a voyager. Jumping and rolling now consumes less stamina. Your item has also been refilled. Excellent. Except you didn't refill my mana. Didn't refill my mana, man. Um, another scholar looking at the machine, just staring at it intently. You probably saw the metal gate in your way here. That gate leads to the island core into a machine responsible for keeping the island afloat. I've been trying to turn it off for hundreds of years. Scientists like me have lost our minds in solving the ancient Arcadian code. So far, we haven't even been able to enter the island core. The entrance is shut tight. Well, unless you had bombs. Seriously, you guys can't just do the slow work of digging your way there? 
I mean, I realize you're on an island, and it's a little dangerous to dig your way there, but come on. There should be a chest, like, right here. I lit the fires. That didn't do anything. Maybe there's other braziers over here that I need to light? No. Not in this room, anyway. I mean, I suppose I could go upstairs and, like, knock it loose or something. Let's try that. I don't know. I'm assuming it's hanging on the ceiling somewhere. Um, nope. There's a guy here. Hey, guy. We know a lot about the lands below. Yes, we do. That only comes off as slightly creepy. Um, and there's nothing here to shake loose anything. I mean, I knew, I know I need to talk to more of these guys, but... Um, should I move like this? I, you know, well, I can't do that. They apparently won't move. Hmm. How the heck do I get that chest to appear? I can move this out of the way, maybe? Nope. Can't push those statues at all. Oh! How did... what? Okay, there's a pressure plate, like, right there. Okay. I don't understand that, but we got a regular key for it. That's something. I'm totally confused as to how I was supposed to know there was a pressure plate there. It really didn't show up. But okay. Hello. Everyone has heard the story of the girl who got away. I wish I could be like her, just soar down to the adventures below. Well, soar, fall, hit the water like a ton of bricks. I wonder what happened to her. Well, she got married to this guy. This must be the infamous graveyard island on the horizon. Okay, we found a new island. That's nice. If we ever get our boat back. It's hard to tell if that's actually going to be a thing. Oh, mystery man. They're not telling you the whole truth. There is a way to get out of here. Find a key hidden in the Grandmaster study that is used to enter the caverns nearby. Go to the far end of the cave and meet me there. If you need a hint, find the red book book in the nearby house. Well, we found the key. So I'm totally going to follow you now. Assuming you don't... No, you poofed! You poofed, you big cheater. You big old ninja. Okay, fine. Oh, and hey, look. It's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Oceanhorn. We're up here trapped on Sky Island. But there is a way off, apparently. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll find it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm Peace of the Universe. You're Peace of the Universe too. And I'll see you guys next time.